Well, this ought to be an exciting video. Today, we're gonna made in the new FMS Pits V2. Not new. New to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a lot of biplanes, and I'm pretty sure that this is my largest biplane. I may be forgetting about one or two, I don't know. A but Red I, Bull is pretty big. It's big, but it's old and discontinued and yeah. very rare. This, I believe, is bigger, Abby. It's 1,400 millimeters, mm -hmm. and it's very deceiving. Actually, when I put it in the car, Abby said herself, wow, that's a lot bigger than I realized. Just looking at this plane, something about it. I think it's because a UMX version of the pits exists, and it's very tiny. It's just something about this plane when you're looking at it, even in this video, unless I go like this, <laughs> it just doesn't look as big as what it really is. In the SUV though, it looks massive. Yeah, so uh, when you have it in... Hold it vertically like that again. Yeah, like that this. helps too. That helps a lot. Nate six for you guys. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a big plane. 1400 millimeters, uh, two wings. It went together really nicely, by the way. As far as build quality goes, this is way up there with an e-flight assembly or arrows assembly i was very impressed nothing gave me any struggles at all there's no glue involved a lot of things snap and slide into place there are nice ball joints off of our servos and uh it's just a really good setup i've heard many good things about this and i'm excited to fly it this will be again a maiden flight i think maybe a shorter flight just uh, because it's big and bulky and heavy it's probably not a super efficient plane and it flies on a 6s battery i've really been enjoying a lot of things on 6s lately like the husky now that can get long flight times on a 6s battery this one we're probably going to shoot for something a bit shorter closer to three or four minutes and if it lives we maybe do a follow-up can you tell i'm stalling let's fly what happened to your last fms <laughs> 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 We've got ourselves a very interesting, like eerily quiet evening. It is With the crazy. fog out there. <laughs> Beautiful, but like strange. Now this bright red airplane uh, should stand out really well. I get a little nervous on Maidens, especially if it's a big pretty plane like this that I really enjoy uh, the looks of. You think of. you're gonna enjoy. <laughs> Oh, well, I enjoy like, the looks of it. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna need a little up elevator. I did this, um, you know, visually. It was fine on the ground. I'm gonna give it one quick visual look before takeoff. I think I have safe programmed properly. I do have a smart uh, safe receiver in here, but it may not be set up properly. So there's a lot of unknowns in this flight. This is the scientific way you trim a plane. <laughs> That is called the Nathaniel Stall. <laughs> it's a very famous move. <laughs> Everyone should be trying it. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm worried that I don't have enough up elevator, but it's. I think it's the way the airplane is sitting uh, on the ground. So let's give it a go. Oh boy. Oh my yeah, God. I, to it. I, I thought did. about not committing and then I just committed. Oh my gosh. Uh, you know, being a tail dragger, we needed some Shoo, that was squirrely on that yeah, takeoff. Yeah, I definitely need a lot of trim here. A lot of rudder, a lot of rudder, like tons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a little better. Got some roll going on. I might want to throw that safe switch and see what happens. That oh might be better. Gosh. You know, this is just a real maiden, you guys. And you got to keep your forward momentum going too, right? made an airplane you you don't want to uh let off on that juice okay it feels fine i just I just got to get it trimmed up let's just do this for fun hey -ya! nice pretty roll very good it's going for a loop being a maiden i want it to fly perfectly but i also want you guys to be entertained if i'm just going to sit here and trim it this whole time it'd be very very boring <laughs> i think i can throw an occasional loop and roll on a maiden flight it's feeling good i did a video or, and someone commented on like, how do you know it feels good on a, on a maiden flight? Well, We've you, only had it in the air 30 know. seconds. You just know. <laughs> just the plane. Oh, that is so much rudder. Wow. Ooh, lots of rudder authority. Yeah, you can tell. You should be able to tell 
within 30 seconds or less of your flight. And I'm definitely gonna need some expo. If you can't tell within 30 seconds, nice then climb. you don't know uh, what you're doing. You really should be able to tell very quickly into the flight if it's flying good or not. This is very great right now. If I hold a little bit of up elevator, I think I've eaten up all of my trim. Can you tell I like these climbs? They look really good. They, they you can see good. the and double wing. Because I like that rudder over maneuver. Yeah. Gosh, that's so easy and pretty to do. We'll go right into a roll here. Nice slow roll. And uh, let's do a Cuban 8. So let's bring it up, back and around here. Roll it over. Sorry, it was a little sloppy. I'm just still getting a feel for it. Everything's not trimmed up perfectly. This is like an eat up the whole sky kind of a Cuban 8 maneuver. This is beautiful, Abby. This is a very, I've always Floating. wanted you to get this plane. Oh, I'm so. so glad I finally picked it up, got it out, put it together. These uh, these bank turns are very nice. A little bit of rudder input on those banks really helped to make it look a bit more scale. I have no expo. I'm not even sure the AS3X is set up properly right now. We're gonna do like a roll into a bank here. That's nice. I feel like this has a lot of authority, more than I'm allowing the plane to push. There's a little bit of rudder in that bank. And one thing I'm gonna do, because I really just need to know if I, if I have it. Well, first of all, this is the perfect opportunity for a knife edge, so I just had to go <laughs> right into it. That's very little rudder. I think we could just rudder up and just climb. And let's do a little bit of a snap. Very little. We're gonna pick up some speed and do a, an extreme snap over here, Abby. There's full throttle. And snapping it. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, one more on this side. One more. Ciao. Oh, very pretty. Get ready for the recovery. Into inverted. Okay, and it, there you go. It climbed right out of that because I really need to trim up my elevator. I'm gonna have to do a manual adjustment on the ground for that. Let me see, where am I at? It's definitely nosing down, so I need to, on my next flight, uh, pull pull that elevator up yeah. a little bit. So, I believe you're at like four minutes. Okay, I don't I know if I'm supposed to tell you. <laughs> this is a 3200 milliamp battery. Um, in case you guys don't know what I'm doing this whole flight, if it doesn't look super smooth, again, there's no expo in here. I'm having to hold up elevator, maybe by 10 to 20% for this entire flight. So if you see a pass like this and it looks a little squirrely up and down, it's because I'm holding up elevator that entire pass. We'll get a couple nice low floaty smoothie passes. Uh, but what what an awesome plane. Oh, it just eats up the sky. It commands your attention. It's very pretty. Maybe we'll do a show pass and then consider a landing. Very nice. That red and white on this beautiful little evening here. These frogs. It's just really cool. Let's see if I can pull it off. Let's go. Well, that's more of a knife edge, but kind of a pretty show pass too. I just, it feels like, it feels big and heavy, but also very floaty. When it's moving forward, it feels very nice, very floaty. I think if you were, uh, maybe a wingtip stall could be very realistic on this. And there's a few other things that I want to do, but I just don't want to push my limits today. So for a maiden, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take that. Someone told me my landings would look smoother if I had like 10% throttle. So let's what? try it. Um well, whatever. That's a maiden flight on a plane I'm not used to flying. <laughs> the FMS Pitts V2. What a what a beautiful plane on the ground and in the air. This thing went together very easily, and I'm very happy with that first flight. There's rain. Hello. Well, I didn't get to try safe. I just, it slipped my mind. I had a lot of things on my mind that I wanted to try with this airplane. First of all, is it just even going to work because my uh, receiver in here is a uh, safe receiver and I'm just not extremely familiar with getting those bound up, but uh, uh, it, everything worked just fine. The point is, it was a maiden flight and I was very distracted and I wanted to make sure the basics were functioning. I do need to trim up my elevator some and then recenter the trim on my radio, that sort of thing. And that's what you should expect on a real maiden flight. There are some channels out there that might 
you know, fly their airplane for the first time on their channel, they might not be saying, hey, this is my main flight, but you might assume that. Just don't assume anything. Realistically, your first flight, a majority of it, is going to be getting the airplane in the air, heading off that first bank and realizing, whoa, I have a lot of aileron to the right. I need some help trimming it. And a lot of times people will have someone assisting them to trim it. So I might be flying and Abby could reach over and give it a little left trim. Oh, I was thinking there's uh, no way I can film that well and do what you would like me to be able to do on your radios. <laughs> oh, you, yeah, well, I, I, I can trim my own planes, but it's a lot of times a two person job. So yeah, trimming your airplane a lot of times is a two person job. Uh, but a lot of people are able to trim their own airplanes too once they've gotten used to it. And that maiden flight today is exactly what I wanted to do. Just make sure I could get it in the air. Will it fly well? Can I handle this airplane? Do I like this airplane? I trimmed it up quickly and yes, I do like this airplane. I, I like it more than I thought I would to be very honest with you. Uh, it's a lot of fun and it's beautiful. So it may not be the most sporty plane I own. It might not be the fastest plane, but wow, does it look really good. I love that red and white pin stripes. It's a, it's a great looking airplane. We'll have a link in the description box below. Guys, know that if you click that link, you do help to support our channel and our family. We would not be here. This free content would not exist without your support. If everyone stopped watching and stopped supporting us, the videos would slow down drastically. Uh, it's because of you if you appreciate this family friendly content and please consider supporting us on Patreon or using that link. It doesn't cost you a single extra penny and it just goes to support one of your favorite YouTubers. While we're on the subject of thanks, I cannot go any further in this video without thanking the one that deserves all of our thanks. Today was a wonderful day, um, spiritually and religiously, and I uh, don't wanna go into extreme details on that subject, but it was a wonderful day for us and I just wanna thank God for this amazing day. And I hope that you guys find some positivity, some love and goodness in your lives today as well. A massive thanks goes out to our Patreon supporters because you guys support us the most directly and it means the world to us. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Now, if you like this airplane, but maybe don't wanna quite swing the cost of it, there's a micro pits that flies amazingly well. We love it. It's one of our favorite planes, actually, especially of the UMX series. And we'll have one of those videos of that airplane popping up right about now. It's totally worth your time. You should definitely check it out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.